The sliding bevel contains three main parts. Firstly, the stock, which is made of rosewood because it's a strong material. Secondly, the blade, which is made of steel because it's a strong, stiff material, prevents wearing and provides a perfectly level edge. Finally, the third part of the sliding bevel is the wing nut. This allows the blade to move up and down and also change the angle in which you are trying to create. As shown in the video, it can be adjusted to any angle. On the blade, there's a slot going down the middle. This allows the blade to be adjusted to different lengths depending on the piece of wood you are dealing with. As seen in the video, it can change to multiple different lengths. Both sides of the blade contain the same angle as both lines are parallel to one another. When storing the sliding bevel, it's important to keep the blade nicely tucked in to the stock. This prevents the blade from getting damaged and also prevents injury. On the edge of the stock, there are four brass strips running along the side. These brass strips prevent the stock from wearing and also allow the stock to run smoothly up along the piece as shown in the video. How do you set the angle? Setting the angle is a very important process to ensure that precision and accuracy is followed through all throughout the marking out. Here I've created a 30 degree angle on a waste piece of wood. It is very important to ensure that where you're measuring the angle it contains a perfectly flush 180 degree. Why does a piece that you're marking on have to be square? It is very important that it has to be square to ensure that precision and accuracy continues throughout the marking out process. When setting the angle on the sliding bevel, ensure that the stock is nice and tight up against the waste piece material in which you have marked out on. Ensure that when you're setting the blade, that both lines match up to the angle in which you've created. Be careful when setting this angle because if you're off, it will affect the preciseness and accuracy of your marking out through the rest of the marking out process. In the video shown, it shows how careful you must be when marking out. Ensure that the top of the sliding bevel lines up to the 30 degree line in which it's created. This is very important for the precision and accuracy throughout your marking out. When tightening the sliding bevel, ensure that you don't tighten the nut too much. Why do we have to be careful when using it? When using the sliding bevel, it's very important that you use the stock off face side or face edge. This is very important for the precision and accuracy of the marking out of the angle in which the sliding bevel is used for. In the video, I'm creating the 30 degree angle from the top point in which it's marked. It's very important to lightly push up against the blade to ensure that you're creating the perfect angle. When marking the angle, it's important not to push too heavily on the blade, as this can change the angle in which it's created. Firstly, it created the angle of 30 degrees normally and correctly as it should be done. The perfect angle of 30 degrees is shown. When you provide too much pressure, with the pencil down on the blade, the angle in which you set the sliding bevel at can change. As shown in the video, it is very important to make sure that you use it correctly and don't provide too much pressure. Why do we use face side and face edge? We use face side and face edge for precision and accuracy when marking out. 
as they are the benchmarks for marking out. As shown in the video, the angle is still the same as previously set through the marking out process. The angle is set at 30 degrees. When using the stock off face edge as shown in the video, it creates the perfect angle of 30 degrees in which we set. As shown, the angle is 30 degrees. What happens if we don't use face side or face edge? If we position the stock off the non face side or face edge, the angle in which we are marking out will not be precise and accurate in which we will be creating. As shown, we can see straight away that the angle created when we don't choose to stock off face side or face edge creates a lesser angle than the 30 degrees in which we previously used at the start of face or face edge. We can see here the distance between the two lines which be significant effect in the preciseness and accuracy through the, the processing procedure as we continue on through the project. When measured the angle is 28.5 degrees. This would be a significant effect throughout the processing procedure and cause serious problems through our processing. This is why it's important to use the sliding bevel off face side or face edge.